Welcome y'all, this is Annie and today I'm going over my Melting Mask and Empties from the week of Thanksgiving. I really started it about November 20th and then because I just didn't want to come up with a basket for a few days for the end of November, I did carry through into the end of the month. So through the Wednesday after, I'm sorry, <laughs> the oven's preheating for breakfast, <laughs> ignore that sound. Um, It'll help me move faster, right? Y'all won't have an hour empties video, hopefully, right? Okay. Um, this is November 20th through November 30th, including the week of Thanksgiving. Let's start off with candles that I worked on this week, or week and a half. Um, I did finish this one. This was Cider Lane. And I have used this one previously in my candle crock. So I had this um, going towards the end of my um, Carnival Festival basket in October, but it still had some left in it, but I kind of was in the mood to put something else in, so I pulled it out. So during this week, I popped it in, and I got another about four days of it. I had in the kitchen crock. Um, originally, it had been, you know, strong enough to kind of get through that whole living space, but this last three or four days, it was more in the kitchen where I could just note this caramel apple smell, which I love this scent. Um, I will always repurchase it and forgive the messiness of the bottom of the labels. There's sometimes a little wax that gets on the bottom and then when it heats into the crock, it just kind of makes them a little bit messy. But the scent notes are bourbon glazed apples, maple sugar, and creamy vanilla. So I would repurchase this. I do think I have another one or two of these somewhere that I'll save for next fall in case it doesn't come back. But I really like that one. And then I was working on um, frosted cranberry, which I love this label from this year. I think this was only available online and the scent notes are iced cranberries, blonde woods, red apple, and tonka bean. Um, I need to trim the wicks because I haven't trimmed them since I last burned, but I burned this a couple of times. Well, um, I don't know why the top of the candle is so messy. Huh. Okay. I'll have to clean that up. But this is just a nice cranberry scent. It's not as woody as cranberry woods, in my opinion, even though it has the woods notes here. To me, it's a nice cranberry. It's not too tart. It's not too sweet. Um, had decent throw. I feel like um, I would come into the room, and I remember the first time I was melt burning this. It had been going for a few hours, and I kind of came into the room, and I was like, what am I melting? I smell this berry fruitiness, and... Then I realized it was the candle, so it was kind of covering up a lot of the other stuff that I had going. Um, it didn't clash, but it was really nice, and um, so decent throw, and I would repurchase this one. I still have some of it to get through, though, so I don't need another one right now. All right, let's hop into the wax empties. Sorry, not wax empties. The things I worked on but I haven't finished because I didn't get through them all this week. This first one is from Scented Squirrel and it's Sweater Weather. Um, this was a bar, you know, like one of those snap bars and I only have two pieces left. But I've been melting this in the bathroom over the last several weeks actually. And this has been amazing. I know Sweater Weather is a really strong scent and it's a dupe from Bath & Body Works, Juniper, Sage, Woods, um, it's really nice and I was wanting to melt this because it was from August of last year so I popped two squares into a tea light and two squares into my plug-in in the bathroom and it could have gone into a fourth day honestly I took it out after three days but it was strong almost the entire time up towards the end when is when I started like noticing it. Now the bathroom is not very big. It doesn't get a lot of airflow. The door stays closed. So I don't think this scent would last nearly that length in any of my other areas in the house. But in the bathroom, the scent just was trapped in there. So it, it was great. So I did two squares and then let it go for several days. And then I think the next day, next week, I put in another segment of it, um, which was this Thanksgiving week, and let it go for three days. So I have two more. I may just put just these two in the bathroom sometime in the next couple weeks, because it's a great kind of fall into winter scent. So 
Unfortunately, Scented Squirrel is no longer in business, so I can't get more of her wax, but um, I really did enjoy what I had. All right, next up is IHOP from Sassy Girl Aroma, and I bought this early at the beginning of this year, this brittle, and I tried it at that point, and I was like, this is just not strong enough, it needs to cure, so I've let it cure for a long time, and I pulled it out and had this one of the mornings on the weekends, this Thanksgiving week, and um, I really did enjoy it. Personally, I think it needs more coffee. This is a pumpkin pecan waffles, maple syrup, and brown sugar, caramel, and coffee scent. And I mainly got pumpkin pecan waffles with a very buttery note. It almost reminded me of like buttered popcorn. And I would have preferred just more coffee for a coffee blend, but maybe when I melt the last of this brittle, I'll just take some other coffee that I have that's maybe a little bit too strong normally, kind of mix it in and see how that works. I don't think it would be a repurchase um, purely because of wanting more coffee from it, but it's a good scent and it performed well. Um, okay, next up, let's cover some scoops. This first one is Blueberry Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, and it's from Scoopable Tart Wax. It's blueberries blended with pumpkin pecan waffles and cream, and I've had this kind of scent from several vendors in the past, and I really love this scent. So when I saw back in, I think, February that Kathy was offering this, I got two of these. Now, this was before I had really started melting these scoops and I know they perform exceptionally for other people but I have put her wax through so many tests in my house this has now had I think what 10 months of cure time um, it should be so strong and I struggle it I think it's my house something with it but I have tested it in bulb warmers I've tested it in hot plates I've tested it in three different heat settings of hot plates I varied the amount of wax that I have put in I put small amounts I've put larger amounts I put medium-sized amounts I put it with hot plates I've done a combination of hot plates and I can't get more than a medium throw from almost everything. There's been a few that have been stronger, but that has been, I think, two cents out of everything that I've tested. So I'm just, I think I'm going to de-stash the rest of what I have from her because I had ordered three times from her kind of sizable boxes before I realized it didn't work in my home. And, um... This is disappointing because this smells really good on cold. Oh, it's so yummy. Um, that pecan waffles and then the blueberry. It smells so good. I just, this was a light medium at the beginning and disappeared very quickly. So would not be a repurchase. I tried another one this week, Scarecrow Snacks. And this is cornbread, cider lane, and pumpkin pecan waffles. And... I like it on cold. Um, I get more of the cider lane, which is that yummy caramel apple smell. But once it's warmed up, I got a lot of the cornbread, which is very similar to zucchini bread. And I wound up having to take this out. This was not actually strong. It was still a medium again, but zucchini bread gives me headaches. And this was just... Um, sending off alerts in my mind of I'm gonna get a headache I'm gonna get a headache because it smelled so much like um, zucchini bread so I'm just gonna pass this along again um, I I think maybe cornbread scents aren't necessarily for me I really haven't melted a lot of them but I have melted a few the last month or so and I just I don't think I like that oil I wish I did but yeah we all have ones that our noses don't really jive with, right? So, all right, next, the next scoopable is from L3. This is Banana Brown Sugar Kolaches. Um, this is amazing. I love this scent from them. If you've not tried their kolache oil, it's a really unique bakery. Um, it's not like a flaky pie crust or croissant dough. It's not really yeasted like a bread, but it is a kind of a sweet, buttery bread idea. 
I don't know how else to describe it. Um, if you've had a kolache, is and you can think of that kind of, or maybe like a Danish dough. It's kind of that sweet dough, but it's not really yeasty. Um, and it's very buttery and yummy and sweet. And mixed with the banana and the brown sugar, this was just mouth-watering. I have melted this now a few times. And um, I melted this one morning because I just kind of wanted a yummy bakery scent in the bedroom. The banana definitely is... Laffy Taffy runt banana but once it's warmed it kind of tones down and it's not a true banana bakery scent but it gets that sort of feeling anyways throughout the room and then the brown sugariness of it oh it was just delicious so this is a scent I would pick up again from L3 it started out probably about a nine in there it was really strong but scoopables tend to be strong once they've had like five or six months cure for me and they just don't last super long not as long as like regular wax so i took it out after about three and a half or four hours just because it really started to fade but i did enjoy it and it was exactly what i wanted that morning all right let me grab the next amount okay since we're talking about l3 this is a tart pack blueberry cobbler sugar cookie royale and cotton candy frosting all scents that i really enjoy i melted two of these tarts between three warmers and a hot plate in the bedroom one day but unfortunately i don't really know how this did because it wound up being a day that we were like in and out and so by the time i was able to really kind of go in and be like oh what did i put in here how does it smell um it had been hours and so I really didn't get much from it but I still have some left so I will melt it again when I have a chance to actually like sit down and enjoy it um, it smells really nice on cold though so um, just I don't know anything about how it was when it melted um, then I did some cookie therapy this week. That's Santa's on Keto Pretzel Sugar Shortbread from L3. It's a house blend. And Santa's on Keto is kind of like a brown sugar butter cookie scent with some other stuff in it. But I really like cookie therapy. It's got that brown sugary, buttery, crispy cookie, which is really amplified by the sugared shortbread. Kind of that um, falling apart, crumbling but a little bit crispiness cookie idea and then the saltiness of the pretzel um, I had a whole loaf and this is probably almost two years if not two and a half years old at this point um, I've noticed that it was starting to get lighter than usual so I am trying to finish it up I have a little bit left um, that I am going to do a comparison video with I'm going to melt the blenders that I have from L3, so Cookie Therapy, White Elephant Exchange, Santa's on Keto, um, there's a few other ones, and kind of compare them and kind of figure out which one I really like the most, because um, normally we get them in blends, right, and um, it may take a little bit of time to figure out which ones we actually really like, but I do like Cookie Therapy, so I melted this um, once with caramel apple and this was really delicious I've done this actually this combination before and it's just nice caramely apple-y um, pretzel and cookie scent so it did decently um, it wasn't the strongest it was probably about a seven and lasted maybe five or six hours I was happy with the longevity of it because I was kind of wanting to change out my wax a little bit more this week anyways but I also did the cookie therapy a different day mixed with sweet potato spice which is in the empty section I'll talk about that in a minute but I did enjoy that one as well Next up, um, from Rose Girls, I melted three items. The first one is Autumn Mountain. This is Cider Lane, Dunk My Donut, and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. I got this last year in the Mario Melters. I think it was a customer creation, and I do have a few pieces left. Um, on cold, I smell this and I get a lot of the Cider Lane, which I'm happy about. I like Cider Lane heavy scents, but when I melted this, more of the Dunk my donut kind of came out which is a cinnamon sugar fried dough scent it's really nice but I feel like every time I would come into the room 
or just sitting there smelling it, I kind of just kept wanting more of the Cider Lane and Pumpkin Pecan Waffle and a little bit less of the Dunk My Donut. So I don't think I would pick this one up again, but I did enjoy it. Um, it lasted probably seven or eight hours. I can't remember exactly because, again, we were kind of in and out of it this week, but I didn't have any problem smelling it in the room. It's about a year old, and um, I would say it was a strong medium um, till towards the end. Now, this one I actually received recently in my Rose Girl Mario, Mario Melters not Mario Melter, sorry, Mario pre-order. And I wanted to melt a little bit before the RTS that she had coming up where she had the Black Friday sale going on. This is Luigi's Wondrous Birthday Cake Wild Berry Mousse, Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies and Birthday Cake. And I really like the smell of this on cold. I really do enjoy Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies. And um, this was nice. Definitely can tell that it needs more cure time. I did this in the bedroom and it's, I think it will be a lot stronger with a few months of sitting, but I liked it. I think the wild berry mousse kind of just amps up that blackberry jam note and makes it kind of feel more like a mixed berry jam butter cookie. I don't think I really got any of the birthday cake, but it was nice. I'm just going to love the rest of this bag. Oops, there is the oven. Let me go turn that off. Okay, I'm going to let this set for a few more months and then melt it at that time. But I didn't wind up going in and getting anything from the RTS. I just looked at my box of stuff I just got and the fact that I still have Mario stuff from last year that I haven't finished up yet. And I said, you know what, Annie, you do not need to get more. So I am sticking with what I have, but I'm just going to let that cure for more time. But I don't. I do think I would actually purchase that one again at some time in the future. And then I also melted Jumping on Cranberry Clouds that I picked up last year. This is Sweet Cranberry, Vanilla Crunch Donuts, Cup of Cake, Cotton Candy Frosting, Monster Cookie, and Marshmallow Smoothie. Um, Y'all know I don't like the Cotton Candy Frosting oil. It's not just an oil that Rose Girls uses. Um, certain vendors use this particular one and it's really artificial smelling to me and I was worried that that would come out once this was warmed and then it would just kind of like be all my nose could think about but I really didn't even notice this I really liked this one I would pick this one up again it was my favorite of the three it was a nice creamy cranberry with like some bakery sweetness um it was I feel like a decent throw. I think it started out about an eight and then kind of quickly dropped down to maybe a six or so, but it lasted pretty well for eight to 10 hours in the bedroom. And I just really enjoyed it. Um, the cranberry is not overly sugary, despite being mixed with this. I feel like though it might be a little bit more of a candied cranberry idea even though it's not too sweet there is a little tartness just really really nice enjoyed it all right next up um from southbound i melted fall festival this is spiced apple crushed cinnamon clove nutmeg and a hint of gingerbread i got this in a d stash last summer and i think this is probably two years old from what i can tell but it still performed really well. I melted some last year, enjoyed it, it enjoyed it in the fall, and um, I would repurchase this from Southbound. It's kind of a similar scent to leaves or har harvest gathering in that kind of spiced apple, but not a bakery apple scent. I don't really get the gingerbread, but this is just really nice. It's always a strong thrower. Um, I would say it's like a nine for quite a few hours and it, it lasts really well. I love Southbound Wax. They're one of my favorites um, just because I feel like their la wax lasts in my collection for a while and then it almost always performs well. So this went most of the day and um, it I didn't struggle smelling it even after the first few hours when it dialed back a little bit. So. Definitely would repurchase that one. 
And then last year I got pumpkin crunch cake and this is creamy pumpkin pie filling, rich condensed milk, baked yellow cake, melted butter, pecans, and spice. And I picked this up last year, um, kind of towards the end of fall and then didn't wind up really melting it just because I was kind of getting over fall spent scents, especially pumpkin spice. So I've been trying to melt it a little bit. I don't know why, but I get like this faint hint of orange zest in here. It's really, really light. I hate to even like say that because I know that will scare some people away who don't like orange scents, but there's just like this faint hint. Otherwise, this is just your typical pumpkin spice bakery. It's not too heavy on the spice. Um, it's one that I feel like I can enjoy and if things are too spicy, I kind of don't, but I did enjoy this. Um, I would possibly repurchase it because it did perform well as well, but it's something that I don't need a lot of in my collection just because, again, pumpkin spice and me um, have a on and off again relationship. So I did enjoy it, but I have enough probably for next fall still here. I melted this a few times. This is Hungry Ghost from Salt Mountain Melts. This is pumpkin pecan waffles, sugar cookie, and toasted marshmallow. Picked this up last fall and it held on to it all year. It's a two color loaf if y'all can see the purple and the orange and I love this scent from her. I would repurchase it every year. It's pumpkin pecan waffles and you definitely get mostly comp pecan pumpkin pecan waffles, but when it's warmed, that sugar cookie comes out, kind of softens it down and gets this nice like crumbly, crispy cookie. And it just becomes this cozy, comforting, rich gourmand scent. I feel like I don't really get much of the toasted marshmallow, but that's fine. I love this how it is. And um, it's not a powerhouse thrower. I would say it starts out about like seven and a half to eight and then dials back a little bit, but you don't have any problems smelling it for hours. Um, I know one day that I melted it, it was at least into hour 10 before maybe I changed it out and it could have kept going, um, but really love this scent. And then from Teddy B's, I melted Cabin in the Woods. This is Fur Needles, Smoked Woods, Marshmallow Fireside, Cedar Wood, Sandalwood, and Minty Snow. Sorry, I had to pause and take a breath. This is a long scent list. Um, I picked this up in one of the RTSs this summer and I had not melted it before this, but this is so strong. I love the color of the loaf too. It's just this grayish, smoky blue. And this, this lasted for ages. I did finally take it out at the end of the day just because I wanted to put something in for the bedtime but it could have kept going into day two. It's a really nice, um, just like out in the woods kind of smell, very much focused on kind of like the needles of the evergreen tree smell, if that makes sense. And you do get that cedar wood and sandalwood, that kind of, um, kind of like the bark note kind of underneath. I feel like I don't necessarily get the minty snow, but I do get the sweet, Marshmallow Fireside and the Smoky too. So overall, it's just kind of like a smoky um, evergreen scent and I would repurchase it, but I think this will take me a long time to get through anyways because it's very strong. Next time I need to put like only a tiny bit into like one or two warmers instead of into them how I put it in. But I would repurchase it and really nice. And oh, it was very strong by the way. I don't know if I said that, but yeah, that one was like a nine or 10 for the majority of the life and the melting. All right, let's hop into the actual empties, the things that I finished, not just melted. Sorry, I had to go take out what I had just put in like 20 minutes ago into the bedroom because I could smell it all the way into the other side of the house. And it was strong and, oh, yeah, not a scent that I wanted to smell, so I had to go take that out, unfortunately, but. No, some scents are like that way. Okay, let's go ahead and dive into the actual empties and starting off with scent shots. This is from Dessa's. This is Harvest Marmalade Bread, Apricot, Orange Cranberry, Chutney on Warm Crusty Bread. Um, I barely got anything from this. It smelled nice, 
but I had to get up to the warmer to smell it. And I have been really trying to figure out, because I don't have a lot of desses, and everything that I have is from a D stash I got about a year ago, and they already kind of looked maybe a little bit on the older side at that point anyways. Um, so I think stuff that I have is like two plus years old. So I've been trying to see what will perform, but I've just, almost everything has like been something I can smell at the beginning, but like disappeared very quickly. So it may just be airflow in my house or something, but let me know down below if y'all have a way y'all melt your desas, if it's like half an ounce or an ounce of wax um, per melter, if you find it does better on the really high heat or the low heat, or if you find it performs better in tea lights, um, let me know. Cause I have been doing some testing, but I just really haven't found um, the right way for my house yet. And part of, the problem may be that it's just kind of on the older side anyway. So anyways, this one is one actually that did perform. This was sweet cranberry pudding. And I think this is the only Dessa scent that I've had that lasted past about two hours. This one, I feel like went for about seven hours. I had it just in the bedroom split between several warmers. I think I put this in, um, four warmers so like three hot plates and then one tea light um I don't know I haven't melted a lot of sweet cornbread pudding so it was kind of nice to melt it on its own to me it's really similar to vanilla butter fudge not necessarily like chocolatey although there is almost this white chocolate quality to it it's sweet and creamy um I need to melt more of it to kind of decide if I love it. Um, I don't dislike it, but I think I do prefer it in blends. But this one actually did perform pretty well and was just a nice, almost like a white chocolate scent. All right, from Southbound, this is Apple Crunch Cookies. This is crisp apple and warm cinnamon blended with sweet cookie dough and crushed almond and vanilla cream. Um, really enjoyed this one it was kind of it really was more of like an almond cookie scent to me I barely got the apple but I do kind of like almond scents I really like amaretto um, which I've been finding I actually don't have very much amaretto at, at all in my collection and I truly truly like it so I kind of want to play around with some different blends with amaretto in it but um, that is neither here nor there. Um, it was nice. It didn't last as long as most Southbound does for me. It wasn't quite as strong, I would say. It was like a strong medium and probably seven or eight hours before I took it out. But I did enjoy the scent and I would possibly repurchase it. Um, next up from Bibliomagica, this is a store on Etsy. They are no longer open. Supposedly they're on a break. I really, really, really hope they come back. Kate, please come back. <laughs> um, she is hands down one of my favorite vendors. And this is a blend Stars Hollow Harvest Festival. The scent is apple, cinnamon, and caramel. It's, this was, um, you know, not necessarily like a big reinvention of an apple scent. It was a nice, basically cider lane caramel apple scent but what I love about her wax is a lot of it is like tied to um like books or like this one stars hollow is of course a reference to the Gilmore girls and she has amazing customer service her labels she has candles and wax and like everything Everything I've ever melted from her has performed. And with the exception of like one scent, they have all been extremely strong. I don't know if it's her wax. I know she does a 100% wax blend. Um, I'm not blend. It's not a blend because it's just wax, soy. So 100% um, soy blend. And then um, I don't know what she does but 
her wax is a powerhouse with the exception of this one um, scent and it was still like a strong medium so this was very very strong it lasted hours and this was a clamshell and I put this throughout the kitchen dining and living area and it lasted all day so I am really sad I can't order more of her wax please come back Kate um, I'm getting down to the end and I don't want I don't know how long her wax lasts I've got some from like two years ago that I've melted and it still works amazingly um, this I bought a year ago and performed incredible so yeah I there's certain scents that I truly just adore from her and I'm hoarding them afraid that I'm going to either wait so long to melt them that they might not be good anymore which I don't know how long her wax exactly lasts because I've never had that issue um, but I am trying to work through some of my collection with her so I don't just sit on it um, and not use it you know from Goose Creek this is Apple Gathering and this one surprised the heck out of me this was one of my favorites from this whole melting session um, I need to get some more of this. It's one of the best apple scents that I feel like I've smelled in a long time. And it's not that it was um, necessarily like incredibly unique, but it was just so good. It was like a fresher apple, not bakery at all. To me, I don't feel like there was any spices in here either. Even though I looked up the scent notes scents, and it says like ginger and nutmeg and... Um, it reminds me of that thick peel of an apple like you peel off the apple from a granny smith apple and there's this greenness to it and like a hint of wood not woodsy like evergreen tree but wood like bark and i loved this this i put into um again the main living of the house just one of these sections in six different warmers and it lasted all day it was amazing so I will definitely be reproaching this seeing this this was one of my favorites from the entire um, 10 days and likewise this was also another one of my favorites and I have a hard time deciding which of these two I actually like better but this was from Goose Creek and this is apple bourbon this was amazing the entire time I kept trying to go up to the warmers and think how on earth do I describe this scent? Because I don't think I've smelled anything quite like this. And I don't know if it's the bourbon that's kind of throwing me. But this was sweeter. Very lightly spiced. Like on the very back of the scent. And not a spice forward blend. And again it came across more of like a sweet fresh apple. Versus a bakery or a spiced apple but there was something about the sweetness and it must be the bourbon I can't find the scent notes for this to try to figure out what it is but it didn't read as alcohol to me um it made me think of you know when you have an apple pie if you strip away the pie crust and you take out the slices of the apples but you're left with that kind of liquid like juice from the apple that has just a hint of the spice and flavoring maybe a little bit of lemon however you make your apple pie but it's that kind of like thick sort of juicy liquid that's in between the crust and the slices of apple it kind of reminded of me of something like that like that apple syrupiness and oh it was so good there's definitely like a fresh leaning to it also so I don't know I am struggling to describe this one. <laughs> if you've had this one before let me know what your thoughts were on this scent down below because I'm really curious I only had one but this would be absolutely a repurchase for me and it was so strong it lasted again all day Goose Creek um, honestly performs really well for me there are every now and then duds as far as like a scent that I don't care for or a wax that just for some reason the scent just didn't perform very well for me but overall in general they do quite well in my home and this one was very strong this was like a nine for like 
six hours and then kind of dropped off a little bit. Um, I think I took it out probably towards the end of the day before we were going to bed, but I don't remember exactly like how long it went. I just remember it went on for all, like the majority of the day and I, I really loved it. I kind of didn't want to take it out because of how good it was. All right, next up. Okay, I'm going to try to go through these a little bit faster because I know nobody wants to watch really long videos. So, um, first up is Rainbow Melts, and this was the Scent Plum Tart. I had a little piece that um, I think Kristen sent to me. Thank you so much, Kristen. I loved this. I put this in the bathroom, split this little chunk between a tea light and the plug-in in the bathroom, and it lasted almost two days. Again, the bathroom is an area where... Not a lot of airflow, the bathroom door stays closed, so um, scent will last a lot longer in there than in other areas of the house, but this was a really nice tart, fruity plum. I don't feel like I got a like pie crust or any kind of bakery necessarily. It was fruity and delicious. I would repurchase this, however, I have no intention of purchasing from this vendor. Um, I would only pick it up in D stashes. I do, however, have a like a mini loaf in it so I should be set for a long time also from the bathroom I put this in um, the last day of November this was avo bath and peach nectar and whipped cream from l3 it was a little teddy bear this is amazing I don't know whose brainchild this is but please keep making scent babies like this because this is delicious I would never have thought of putting that kind of citrusy lemongrass with peach nectar. I don't feel like I get the whipped cream at all, first of all. But peach nectar from L3 is a fantastic scent oil. It is a powerhouse in my home. Every time I've melted it, it's like a 10. And Avobath is also extremely strong. So um, this was really, really, really strong. Um, the peach is kind of a candy peach instead of like a juicy flesh peach, but oh man, I would get this probably in a loaf because it is so good. And that citrusy hit from the lemongrass with that kind of candied peach, it just kind of helped cut through the candiness of it. And it was fruity and energetic and just absolutely amazing. So very strong. Um, I don't know um, how long this will go, but it lasted for at least a day already. So on to day two, I guess, and we'll see. And I did pop in the other half of this, so I didn't actually finish this until um, today, but this is Honey Pear Cider, and um, I melted half of this during the 10-day session. This was a Betty Loaf from or Bitty Betty from L3 and Honey Pear Cider. And then I melted the other half um, right now, today, because of the Partridge in a Pear Tree Challenge from Kentucky Girl, um, Kentucky, sorry, I am butchering this. Um, Angie from Kentucky Wax Girl has a Christmas challenge that she's doing for the month of December. I'm trying my best to participate on as many days as I can. And the first day was a Partridge in a Pear Tree, so the challenge was to melt pear scent, so I thought, let me finish off the other half of this. So um, I didn't finish this entirely in the 10-day set week, but I melted half of this Betty, Bitty Betty Loaf from L3 during the 10 days around um, Thanksgiving, and then I just popped the last of it in on December 1st. So Honey Pear Cider. Um, I love this particular scent. I fell in love with it from Cincy back in like 2009, 2010. It was one of my favorites that I ever tried from them. And um, I guess I keep missing it whenever they release it. So somebody, if you'll know it's coming back ever, please let me know because I loved it. And I've now tried a few like vendor dupes of it. I feel like it still just doesn't hold up to my memory of what it used to be. But it's been so long since I've actually smelled the Scentsy version that maybe my memory is just off. Um, I still enjoy this, though. It's sweet. You definitely get the honey note in there. I almost feel like it's more of a honey scent than a pear scent, even though you do smell pear. Um, and there's a little bit of spices. It's performed really well. Um, 
I would say this is one that's lasted a little bit longer than a lot of L3 wax does for me because they generally perform really well in my house but um, peter out after about you know four to eight hours which I'm fine with but um, this one lasted probably seven or eight hours if I remember correct that first time and I really enjoyed it I had some other candles going too um, but I could always smell this in the main living area and I would probably repurchase it from a shop on Etsy. This is Petricor in Paint, and this scent is Pumpkin Joe. It's coffee, toasted pumpkin spice, and vanilla chestnut. If you are wanting an unusual pumpkin scent, this is a great one. I don't particularly like like pumpkin spiced coffee scents, even though I do like a pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks in the fall, but this is a really unusual coffee and pumpkin scent. Um, not at all like a regular pumpkin spice. You really get that chestnut and there's this creaminess. Um, it's delicious. I will be repurchasing this from her. Um, she has amazing um, candles that are Woodwick candles that I love. So I would probably pick it up in that format because her candles last such a long time for me. And I love that kind of crackle of the fireplace. I feel like her wax melts are a little bit overpriced. They're definitely more of a luxury wax melt, but um, it's stuff that I wouldn't necessarily purchase like very frequently, even though I love her scents. Her wax performs really well for me, and she just has a lot of unique stuff that she is like combined. Um, she really has a gift as far as creating fragrances and so I will probably pick this up in a candle from her but I loved this and would repurchase this scent. Whoops I still have some more L3 I'm sorry I should have done those first. Um, I mentioned this earlier with the cookie therapy but I combined this sweet potato spice I had like half of the trig tart left and really enjoy this scent. If you've ever had like a sweet potato pie, it's kind of like that filling idea. It's very similar to pumpkin pie filling, but honestly, I prefer sweet potato pie and it was really nice. I would repurchase this scent and I think I would probably try it in like some blends if I ever do customs from L3, but really like this decent throw, um, delicious just fall scent. Next up is Apple Cider Cranberry Frosty Fizzy Bubbly, and this was really strong. Um, I popped it in one morning, I think this was like the day before Thanksgiving, or maybe it was Monday before Thanksgiving, and um, I, I kind of wish that more of the cranberry and apple cider kind of lasted throughout the longevity of the scent, because after a few hours it kind of turned into mostly the Frosty Fizzy Bubbly, which is a ginger ale scent. I like the ginger ale scent, but um, I just kind of wished the fruity part had kind of stuck around a little bit longer. But it was really strong, um, 9 or 10 for those first few hours, and then again it died off and kind of just turned into ginger ale. I don't think I would repurchase it. Also from L3, this was a Bitty Betty Loaf in Blueberry, Pumpkin Patch, and Adipose. And the Adipose is one of their house blends. It's a marshmallow blend of Jet Puff Mallow. Mellow fluff and toasted marshmallow. It's light, fluffy, and full of fat like the adorable little adipose. Um, I don't think I like this scent. It's kind of like a blueberry pancake scent. Um, I didn't really get pumpkin or marshmallow. It was also kind of on the light side of things. Um, like a started out kind of just as a medium and then kind of died off to like light medium. It lasted for four or five hours before I took it out. I wouldn't repurchase this scent. Also from L3, this was a puppy pack and butcher knife, and this is graham crackers, pumpkin, toasted mallow, and leaves. This is a really nice take on leaves in my opinion. Some of their other leaves blends I feel like are just too heavy handed on leaves because leaves just overpowers a lot of blends. But this one, I feel like I do actually get that graham cracker and toasted mallow, not just leaves in the blend. So I would probably pick this scent up again at some time in the future. Um, 
You definitely do get that spicy leaf apple note in here though. And it has a little bit of like that outdoor woodsy quality to it. And then a little bit of toasted marshmallow and then kind of this graham crackery crusty scent. I don't think I got any pumpkin, but I did like it. I don't think I would describe this as a bakery scent because I feel like it's still more leaves focused, but it was strong and I melted this. I put it in like late afternoon one day and just took it out at the end of the day, even though it probably could have gone a little bit longer. I think it had about six or seven hours and um, started out strong, then faded after a few hours, but I could still smell it in the room. So I did enjoy it. it had this whole puppy pack throughout the kitchen and the living space and in a variety of different warmers. Also from L3 is a puppy pack in Snow White Slumber. This is Snow White's Downfall mixed with a sweet lavender. I have tried to find out what Snow White's Downfall is, and I think it is like an apple and like woodsy note, because you know the apple was what was supposed to poison, you know, Snow White or something like that. Um, this is very similar to October's from Rose Girls, so it's like that lavender, apple, and oak scent. And I actually had melted this, that like the week before I melted this. And then when I put this in, I was like, oh wow, they are like almost exactly the same. There is a little bit of a difference, but um, very, very similar. So if you like that scent, but um, haven't seen it poured in a while, you may try to get this from L3. Um, it was strong. I melted this at bedtime. I did enjoy it. Um, I feel like it turned into more of an apple and oak scent um, the longer it was melting though because the lavender kind of was fading away but I did enjoy it and I could still smell it the next morning which is unusual for a lot of my bedtime melts usually if it's been melting for six seven eight ten hours whatever whenever I put it in um, usually by the next morning I can't smell it but this one I could Another bedtime melt was from Sassy Girl Aroma. I had about half of a brittle left, and this is what a girl wants. It's pink sugar, sweet lavender, and peppermint, and I melted this twice. One day I mixed this with a little bit of a scent from um, Salt Mountain Melts I'll show in just a second, and then the other day I melted this on its own. The first day I really didn't get much of this because I really only added like a tiny bit to the dish because I had the other wax in there. So I kind of wanted to melt it again. I liked this. This was also one that I could smell the next morning, just kind of a sweet bit of the lavender left at that point. This isn't necessarily like groundbreaking, but I would possibly pick it up again. I think every vendor has some version of lavender, pink sugar and peppermint out there. This performed well for me and I did enjoy it. And let me see. I didn't find the one that I was just talking about. Okay, so the first time I popped that in, I didn't have a lot of this left. This is Candy Cane Cupcake from Salt Mountain, and it's Vanilla Buttercream Cupcakes and Crushed Candy Canes. And I had melted part of this. Um, I was sent like half of a souffle by a friend, and um, I melted part of it last Christmas and it was really light and I should have just finished it off at that point but I had a few chunks left so I was like I need to finish it but it wasn't quite enough to fill warmers for our bedtime blend so that's when I popped in like two one square in two different warmers from the Sassy Girl Aroma scent. Again this was really light so overall I kind of didn't get much that night but I would like to repurchase this because this is uh, over two years old and I would like to repurchase it and kind of you know, have a chance to melt it because I have heard this is a scent a lot of people like from her and I do like peppermint and bakery scents so I would pick it up again and give it a shot that time but I really just didn't smell anything from that one. Also um, another one that I melted at bedtime was Southbound and this is Lavender Cream Puffs. And this was a really pretty flower shape that my friend Bernice from Instagram sent me. Um, this is a particular lavender oil that I've talked about in the past. I don't really care for this particular lavender oil. 
um, it's too on the sweet side, but I still wanted to melt this. Our cream puff blend is really delicious, and I've melted other blends with the cream puff oil or um, house blend from Southbound and really enjoyed them, such as the cafe cream puffs. But in this particular one, I only got the lavender. It was quite strong and it did last um, through the night as well, but I didn't really get the cream puffs. I don't think I would purchase it myself just because of that particular lavender oil, but it did perform really well for me. Another one I melted at night is probably an unusual choice to do at night, but it was kind of like this pumpkin shape, um, like a pumpkin, miniature pumpkin pie looking shape. And I decided to melt this one night and really see if like just putting a lot more of Dessa's wax in my warmers worked versus the half ounce to an ounce that I had been doing. So I put more than an ounce in each warmer. And maybe that's the way I need to go because um, this did also last longer. I could still smell a little bit of it in the morning even though it had gotten a lot lighter. Um, like this says, it's pumpkin to talk about and it's straight creamy pumpkin, no spice. Personally, I still felt like I got a little bit of spice in there, but it was kind of like the spice from um, pumpkin carvings from Bath and Body Works, if you've tried that. And to me, it, okay, this is going to sound weird, but it was a creamy pumpkin, but it had like this fruity quality, almost like the flesh of the pumpkin. So for example, L3 has a pumpkin carving oil that is a very fruity kind of smelling pumpkin, like the actual like raw pumpkin smell. And it's not, ooh, this is off, off screen. Um, it's not spiced, but that's not actually like the dupe for the Bath and Body Works. The Bath and Body Works one is more of like that flesh of pumpkin, but has some spice notes to it. I kind of felt like it was almost a combination of the the dupe and then the not dupe, if that makes sense, but a little bit creamier with them together. Maybe I'm being crazy, but that's just kind of what it smelled like to me. And I kind of liked this scent. So I would give this one another chance when I ever get to order from Dessa's for myself. Um, I would probably pick something in this scent up and give it a shot. It wasn't a powerhouse scent, but like I said, it did smell it the next morning, and I feel like it was kind of, started out as like a medium strong, and then just kind of a light medium. All right, from one of my favorite vendors, this is Missouri River Soap, and I had two bags in these little mini donut shapes. They were red with a little bit of glitter on them, super cute. And this is an apple cider donuts. The scent notes are apple cider, sugar coated fried donuts, cinnamon, and vanilla. If you've watched me before, you know that I really love this scent from her. It's one of my favorite scents from anywhere. And I will melt this year round. I am trying to work through some of the wax that I have from her that may be about two years old, just because I don't want to sit on it and not melt something that is a favorite until it's, you know, lost scent. These were great. I put this in one morning and I put one um, in a dish all throughout the kitchen, dining, living areas, and I had them in hot plates and I also had them in some tea lights. And this was my scent the entire day. I took it out before we went to bed that night. Probably could have gone a little bit longer than that, but it was just delicious. That spiced, appley, fried donut scent. You definitely get a little bit of that cinnamon. It's just wonderful. So hopefully she will come back. She's taking a break right now because I will eventually run out of what I have from her in that scent and then it will be sad. Uh, I won't be sad, but I will miss it. Okay. From Simo, I melted Cider Lane and Cornbread Muffins. And this I also got as like an extra and a D stash. I've never purchased from Simo and this was actually the first time melting wax from Simo. So I wasn't sure how it would perform but this was really good um i mainly got the cider lane i did get some of that cornbread but because the cider lane was a little bit more the focus of the scent this time i didn't feel like i needed to pull it out because i wasn't as worried as uh, getting a headache from it because that cornbread note is quite similar to zucchini bread to me um this was really cute though this was like a little um 
jack-o'-lantern with a lid and like a little spider and pieces of candy underneath the lid. The lid was removable. Um, I put this all through the main living area, kitchen and stuff of the house. And yeah, this scent lasted. This was another one where I put it in the morning and well, you know, I may not have put it in in the morning. I think it was like late morning I put it in because there was another scent that didn't last super long. So I put it in maybe 11 o'clock in the morning if I'm remembering. And it lasted until we were going to bed at night, you know, 9, 10 o'clock that night. So almost 10 hours. And I think I would purchase from this vendor and give their wax a shot because this just did so well for me. I don't know if it's this particular blend, but um, it was quite strong almost the entire time. I feel like it started out at like an eight and a half or so and even by the end it was probably a six so really really surprised by that and enjoyed that one this is another one i melted at bedtime i had about half of a souffle left and so i melted this two different nights this is from teddy bees and it's lavender marshmallow it's marshmallows, fresh lavender, and vanilla bean. It's a Bath & Body Works dupe, and this smells like lavender marshmallow from them to me. It's kind of a sweet marshmallow. I really like it. Um, um, it's quite similar to Bath & Body Works lavender vanilla, but to me it has a little bit more sweetness. And I would repurchase this from Teddy Bee's or you know, from Bath and Body Works, but it performed really well. And I also could smell this one also in the morning. Um, I put it in, you know, it lasted eight hours and I took it out to put something else in, but um, really, really did enjoy this one. It wasn't a powerhouse. It was more of like a nice, um, soothing, relaxing scent for bedtime. It was probably a six or a seven the majority of time if I'm remembering correctly okay from vintage chic scents this is kenosha kickers cider lane and this is honey pear cider and cider lane and it was a souffle and i chopped it up one day and put the entire thing throughout the kitchen dining living areas <sighs> this one was kind of disappointing i picked this up last year because i saw honey pear cider and cider lane two oils i was like i really like those scents there's no way i won't love this this was light and I I left it in and left it in, keep, kept hoping that it would perform. Um, really disappointing. I don't, I wouldn't purchase this again just because it didn't perform for me in my house, but it had plenty of cure time. It was poor, poor December 30th of, of last year, so that was like almost 11 months and I, I wouldn't repurchase it. Okay, from Empire Alchemy, I melted a few different scents, and first up is Hello Autumn. This is pumpkin chai latte, baked orange bread pudding, and vanilla whiskey frosting. I thought this was going to be so good because of the orange. It was light. I really didn't get anything from this scent, so I wouldn't repurchase it. Next up was The Night He Came Home, and this is Dark Roasted Coffee, Vanilla Crumb Donut, Vanilla Crumb Donut, Vanilla Rum Cream, and Birthday Cake. Sorry, I thought I said the word wrong. Um, I put this in in the bedroom one day, and at first it was really light. This was such a weird one for me. Um, it melted, and it was like, you know, four or five, and I was like, oh, I'm just not getting much again. Um... In their wax, sometimes it performs really well for me, and then some scents just don't do well for me. And I thought, well, it's a coffee scent. Surely it'll be one of the stronger ones. But I kind of left it in there because it could smell just kind of a general, like, bakery sweetness in the air. And I was like, okay, I popped it in. just going to give it a couple hours. And I checked at it the first couple of hours. Still wasn't getting anything, but I didn't feel like really changing the wax out. Well, I went back in there like four hours later. And I don't know if it just needed like build up in the room and the door had been open. So I may test melting their wax in like a closed door room to see if some of these lighter scents do better for me. But suddenly I could, I could smell something and it wasn't something I'd gotten in the beginning. And it was like a sweet bakery coffee, but there was like this note I don't know what it was, but it was really delicious. 
and it came out like four hours in. So I left it and it lasted for several more hours with this particular note. It was still kind of on the lighter side, but it was stronger than what I'd gotten the first two hours. So I don't know why, like I said, it must have been like scent intensity, like building up in the room, but I would possibly pick this up and give it another chance if I was ordering from this vendor. Um, this next one is London Fog and Biscuit, and this is Earl Grey Cookies, Lavender Sprigs, and Whipped Cream. I was so excited to get this from her because I love lavender and I love Earl Grey, and I thought this is going to be a scent that I adore, and it smells so good in the bag. I melted through probably half of this bag at different times in the last 10 days. This is not old. This is from the summer, and... It was like a four out of 10 at the best points and it quickly disappeared. It didn't do the reappearing act like this other one did. It just disappeared and I got nothing at, from it after about an hour of it being melted. And I tried different amounts. I tried different heat settings. I tried having the, um, what is it? The tea light melting also at one point. And it just did not last for me. So really disappointing. I don't think I would pick that one up again. Even though I really, really wanted that one to work. Okay. From Rose Girls, this is Penguin Mario. This is Spearmint Whipped Cream Vanilla Bean Noel and Pete Sweater Weather. This was a customer creation last fall from the mini, or from the Mario Melters. And they were so cute. They were like black and white. One on color on each side. Kind of like a penguin. I love this scent from them. I would repurchase it again. Um... The sweater weather is kind of like the sweater weather dupe from Bath and Body Works. That's the juniper and sage and kind of wood scent. And I didn't really get whipped cream or vanilla bean Noel, but I did get some of that spearmint in there. And it was just really nice on a cold day. This is strong. I feel like it was an eight or a nine for the most of the time it was melting for, let's see how long did this one last? I'm trying to remember when I put this one in. I think this was one I put in kind of early or mid afternoon one day and it was lasting until we went to bed. I did take it out at that point just to prep the warmers for the next morning, but it probably could have gone a few more hours. I've melted this several times. I think I still have one bag and I probably should have bought more in the recent Mario order. I didn't because I was like at that time, oh, I have two bags, I have enough, but I really do like this one from Rose Girls, so I would pick it up again, and um, it's a nice sweater weather blend. Okay, also from, well, this might be my last one. Is this my last one? Okay, yeah. This is the last one, y'all. This is from Soul's Inspiration, and this is Harvest Festival. The scent notes are fresh picked mac apples and ripe pumpkins. I didn't really get any pumpkin. I just got mac apple, but it was a really nice mac apple. I enjoy mac apple a lot. So this was a big brittle and it was really pretty. I melted half of it one day and half another day. And her wax just performs really well for me. I need a video of my latest haul from her because she had an amazing sale like two months ago. And I did pick up some blends from her and... I've already melted a few um, that are just amazing from her. So, yeah, if you've never tried that vendor, give her a chance because I found her wax is some that I really don't have to do much cure on. So I feel like I can melt it, you know, within that first month of receiving an order and it always performs for me. So sometimes it's nice to have a vendor where you can order and you don't have to feel like, oh, I order, I get my order and then it's got to sit for two or three months. And that's um, her wax for me. So, yeah, again, it was just a Mac Apple scent, but it performed well. Um, I feel like I took it out after maybe eight hours each time, even though it could have gone a little bit longer. It wasn't a powerhouse scent, but I didn't have any struggles smelling it the entire time. So, it was probably a seven, seven and a half, um, and I really did enjoy it. All right. That is all that I have. I don't know how many empties I have. Let me count them. Okay, I did a quick count. I emptied 28. I'm not counting the Honey Pear Cider that I put in this morning um, for the December 
but um, I'll count that one for that week. And yeah, that was, I got through 28 empties, which I feel like was pretty decent for me in a 10 day span. Um, and there, if y'all want to know favorites from this week, let me pick out the favorites. Okay, I did a really quick count and I finished 28 empties in the 10 day period. So I did not count the honey pear cider that I put in the morning of December 1st, but um, there's 28 other than that one. And here's really quickly my favorites from the week that I would definitely repurchase or that I really enjoyed. Sweater weather from Scented Squirrel, banana brown sugar kolaches from L3, fall festival from Southbound, Jumping on Cranberry Clouds, clouds from Rose Girls, Cabin in the Woods from Teddy Bees, Hungry Ghost from Salt Mountain Melts, Apple Bourbon from Goose Creek, Apple Gathering from Goose Creek, Stars Hollow Harvest Festival from Babylio Magica, Pumpkin Joe from Petrichor and Paint. Penguin Mario from Rose Girls, Sweet Potato Spice from L3 Waxy Wonders, Snow White's Slumber from L3 Waxy Wonders, Lavender Marshmallow from Teddy Bees, Cider Lean and Cornbread Muffins from Simo, Apple Cider Donuts from Missouri River Soap, Pumpkin to Talk About from Dessa's, Plum Tart from Rainbow Melts, and finally, Avo Bath and Peach Nectar and Whipped Cream from L3. If y'all have melted any of these scents, let me know down below. And if y'all are doing any of the challenges that are coming up for December, I know there's a few coming from Kentucky Wax Girl. Um, Angie's doing one. And then I believe What She Melts and um, Wax Melts BFF or For the Love of Scents, Angela Thrasher. And um, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I can't remember your name. Um, what She Melts, I think, is it Michelle? Or Theron. It's Farron. Yes, it's Farron. I'm sorry for forgetting your name. Um, they are also doing a December wax melt challenge. There's lots of information over on Instagram or on their channels. So if you're not following them, go give them a follow and um, tag along with the rest of us. It's kind of fun to do something as a group around the holidays and melt through some of our wax and kind of do some of these challenges. So I would suggest going over there and then let me know down below if if you've melted any of these scents, I love talking to you about wax. So until next time, thank y'all for watching.